Hi, this is a prophetic word I'm releasing on February the 7th, 2024. This is a short clip and um, I'll tell you where in December, God was calling us into a time of reconciliation to make an effort to actually get out there and reconcile with people who have hurt us. The Lord now is asking us, this is a new season, okay? And he's asking us to take a step back and to become more self-aware of what's going on and to watch out how we respond to others. There is a grace being released from heaven for victory to fly above the storm to see things from his perspective and not ours. The Lord wants us to move in our destiny. And it's very important that you listen to these warnings that he's given us. Now, some of these prophetic words I have already uh, released in the past. God has brought them to my attention today and said, you know, be on the lookout be on the lookout if you want to see your destiny unfold. We know that this is the year of open doors. We know that um, this is the decade of the Lord using both our voice, okay, and our mouth to bring glory to his son. So I thank you, Lord, for that. But the bait of Satan is going to rise up and the Lord wants you to be aware of this baits of Satan so you don't get sideswiped. All right. He doesn't want you to get sideswiped. If you want more information on this, I've done a full show and um, it's already been done. It's already on my YouTube. So here are some of the things that um, the Lord is making available to us and it's ticking the enemy off like there's no tomorrow i'll tell you really ticking the enemy off and so um i just want to get my notes straight here the one of the things that god is doing is he's aligning us okay he's aligning us with people who will together, we'll walk together to see our, our destinies unfold. All right. And the enemy, of course, naturally does not want that to happen. You can well imagine. And so what he's doing, here's the warning, the prophetic warning now that the enemy is coming up with, um, the spirit of offense. He's releasing the spirit of offense so that, in our pride, in our perception, which is ours and not his, the Lord's, that we would take, if we take the bait, um, it's, it's not a good thing. So the Lord just wants us to be aware to walk in uh, mercy over judgment. Okay. The second prophetic word, the Lord is, is raising up a new breed of leaders. Now, these leaders are going to be supersede anything we've ever seen, okay? Because of what God is doing in them and what God is asking of them. So it's a brand new breed of, of, of leaders, old generals, new generals, new leaders, old leaders, and we whether we're a leader or not, are called to respond in a certain fashion. So God is going to purposefully bring these individuals into an encounter with him that will transform their hearts. And they are going to walk in such huge levels of humility, which is really one of Jesus's secret weapons on Calvary. But this humility is going to bring them into um just isaiah 11 like there's no tomorrow okay so the enemy does not want this to take place 
And so he's releasing the spirit of religion. Now, if you remember on Calvary, what happened, it was the uh, spiritual leaders and their followers that had Christ crucified. Okay. And uh, so that's what we have to watch out for, not to fall into the place of judgment, not to fall into the into eating off the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and crucifying these leaders before they have a chance to walk out their assignments. God is calling them and they will answer the call. And if we crucify them before they get a chance to actually be raised up and recognize, we're losing. We are losing as the body of Christ. Now, I've seen this already take place where a, a man of God, a general of God sinned 20 years ago. Somebody dug up his sin and decided to crucify him. Now, in the last 20 years, this man has already shown with evidence and fruit that he is turned away from his sin and yet they're still crucifying him. So my, my, um, my uh, word to you is take all thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ. Don't fall into that place of judgment. Okay. So thank you, Lord. The third prophetic word that God wants us to know that he's calling his children into the secret place for a reason to be refreshed, to be tanked up with his fullness and his joy and great expectation for the impossible. And naturally, once again, the enemy doesn't want this to happen. So he is undermining our joy by releasing the spirit of distraction. Now, you might not think, well, what's the big deal with distraction? When distraction becomes dangerous, what happens is idols form in our heart. And we, you know, Jesus is supposed to be the king of our heart. Well, an idol would replace and not, and, and not totally. Usually it's just a subtle thing. Distraction starts small, right? And there's a shifting of our attention off of Christ, off of the importance of the secret place, off of our calling, and it's put on something less important. So be on the lookout for the spirit of distraction that lures us away to the place that God wants us to be. And that's in the secret place and with our hand on the plow moving forward in our destiny. Okay. The fourth prophetic word that God wants us to be uh, uh, aware of is that he's sending us out to do great exploits. And I mean, he is sending us out. Okay. And he's told us that we need to be as innocent as doves, but as uh, wise as serpents. Okay. And um, the devil in response to what God is doing with us is releasing the spirit of discouragement. And you know, if you've ever been discouraged, that's when we come up with all these reasons why we should throw in the towel or all these reasons why we, we uh, don't qualify. Well, basically, it, it's a, a lie in our minds, right? A lie in our minds and then we act on it. God wants you to know that you are a valuable individual to what is going on in the earth today, that you are to possess the land. Okay, that the destiny of the kingdom of God depends on the sons and daughters responding to him and what he's doing, not responding to the devil and what he's doing. And that's what makes these warnings so very, very important. Okay, and like I mentioned before, uh, I want to encourage you to watch the full show off January the 7th. Um, called the Lord warns, beware, be aware. So father, I thank you that you're making us aware of what the enemy is doing, that he's releasing the spirit of offense, the spirit of religion, the spirit of distraction, and the spirit of discouragement. We receive wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly father, your goodness. And we receive it now in this season the new alignments, 
the new encounters that lead to new positions, the special times in the secret place, those refreshing moments where we're filled with your joy, we're filled with your fullness. Thank you, Lord. And we receive our callings and assignments to do great exploits and the strength and courage to put our hand on the plow and move forward in righteousness and innocence and your wisdom. We pray all this in Jesus' name and we receive it now. God bless you.